got uh, right so t1 and the total speed is uh, 600 so x was what x was uh, speed right yeah okay so x was speed so y are you getting 600 uh, x is equals to 20 right x is the speed so 20 is uh, one and 30 is the other one right yeah so i guess 20 is the correct answer why are you writing 600 Okay, I, I don't know about uh, the calculation, right? So first is 150 by X, okay? So 150 by whatever you have a uh, speed of in each direction. So one is? No, I, I wrote X yeah. value, yeah. both yeah. So you are doing the middle term splitting. So I just, I just multiply to find the total speed. So why did you, yeah, so you found uh, the solution, right? One was X equals to minus 30 and uh, X equals to 20. So X is your speed, right? You have assumed your speed to be X, right? Yeah, yeah. So you have found the speed, X is was your uh, speed from going one from, uh, okay, so we have already attempted, yeah, so. Yeah, so uh, then X was your answer, right? Because yeah. X was the speed, the X was the speed that you assumed. And in the return journey, what was the speed? X mm -hmm. plus 10. So X plus 10, X you have calculated it to be 20, so 20 plus 10, so 30 kilometers per hour. So one answer is uh, for the uh, ongoing journey, right? So for the ongoing journey, it was uh, 20 kilometer per hour and for the return journey, it was 30 kilometer per hour, right? <coughs> yeah. Okay, so good, good. So correct answer. Now let us uh, come to the, yeah, so let us quickly finish this. And after this, I will, uh, I will do the, what, I will do the, uh, I will start the AP, right? After this, okay. you will start linear equation. Oh, so you want a linear equation. Okay, so then I'll start the linear equation. Okay. Okay, and I got my exam timetable. So, oh, I, and that was half yearly exam. That's in October. In that, I have quadratic equation, linear equation, coordinate geometry. Uh, these three chapters, I didn't do it, so. Uh, quadratic equations is done. Linear equation and coordinate geometry is still. Yes, yes. Yeah, so let us uh, quickly, am I audible? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, you are. So let me share my screen. Yeah, so let us quickly finish uh, this chapter and start uh, the education. Okay. okay. So we learned about uh, the nature of loops uh, that we have, uh, if we have uh, D greater than zero, right? But for first, what is D? So D is uh, 
b square minus 4 is and if d is greater than 0 so then we have real roots and unequal and if we have d equal to 0 this is we have equal roots equal and real roots yeah and if d is less than 0 so we have not real not real right so these are the three condition for the uh, solution of quadratic equation right and uh, what was the other thing that solution of the quadratic equation form quadratic formula was uh, what <coughs> so this was uh, alpha and beta this was minus b plus minus b, right this was the solution right right uh, yeah so let us uh, remember these uh, concept and then uh, so okay so what is uh, the first question uh, one second yeah yeah so Yeah. Okay, so now uh, let us uh, do the, yeah, let us do this uh, second question. First we did, right? First we already did. Yeah, you have to do the second. Yeah, so let us do this uh, second question and uh, let us quickly finish this. Okay, so how much? Eight fifty. So we have a uh, 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 equals to 0. So what is A? A is equal to 3x. No, no, no. No, 3. B is what? Minus 4 root 3 and C is 4. Right. So these are this is that. So first we calculate D. Right, d is uh, b square minus 4 is so this will be how much minus of 4 root 3 square and minus of 4 mm. a is uh, 3. And uh, uh, you have to actually start the second question. We did the second question oh, of the yeah, first one. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, good. good. Yeah, you should start from find the value of k. Because, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so second question find the value of k for uh, each of the following quadratic equation so that they have two equal roots. So, what is the condition for the equal roots? Uh, d should be equal to zero, absolutely correct. So, d is equal to zero. Right, so first uh, let us write uh, the quadratic equation 2x square plus kx plus 3 equals to 0. Right, so what is a? a is 2. a is 2, b is uh, how much? Uh, b is k and, and c is 3. Right, so mm -hmm. now uh, for equal roots, uh, we know d is uh, 0, which means that b square minus 4 is equals to uh, Sir, can you just excuse yeah. me? A call is coming. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, hello. Yes, yes. Okay, so where was 
Uh, in the second question. So now we know what that uh, you know that uh, for equal loads uh, d is zero, which means that p square minus four is zero, right? So we just uh, plug in these values. So p is how much k? So k square minus four, a is uh, two, and c is two. So this is zero. So this would be how much? K squared minus uh, 24, this is uh, equal to C. Right, so K should be how much? This should be root of, or let me write it as, so K squared is 24, right? Root so of 24. Root of uh, 24, which is plus minus, right? So it will have uh, two values. One would be plus uh, root 24, which would be how much? So plus uh, root 24, which is uh, plus four into six, which is uh, two root uh, six. So one is this. And the other one would be minus uh, root 24, which would be minus of Can is we that, just write one yeah. value? Yeah, because root will have two values, right? Plus minus. Okay. Yeah, so for both the cases, yeah, for both the cases, uh, your p square minus four is equal to three. Right. Right. Yeah, so if uh, you have a confusion, then we can also check these answers, right? Yeah. So we can check these answers, right? Yeah. So let's say that uh, I have uh, I have k equals to two root six. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. So for k equals to two root six, my equation would be how much? Two x square plus uh, two root six x plus two. So A is two, B is uh, two root six, C is two. So D would be B square minus four AC, which is uh, two root six square minus four, two root six. So this would be how much? Four, four is a, is a four into six, 24 minus 20. So this is zero, right? So this is, uh, are giving us equal roots, right? Equal roots, yeah. Now, what about uh, this uh, minus two root six? Okay, so we have uh, equation two x square minus two root six x plus two. Right. So for this, uh, what would be my a is two, b is uh, minus two root six, c is three. So d is how much? B square minus four ac which means that uh, B is minus two root six square minus two, four into two into three. So this is again, how much? 24 minus 24, which is three. So for both uh, these k's, right? For the both of these value of k's, uh, what we are getting? Equal roots, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. So we checked these answer and these are correct. So yeah, they would be two values. Okay, so if you want to note it down, you can note it down or if you want to go ahead, then go ahead. Um, so in the exam, we have to do this whole process or we should just find out the value yeah. of it. Yeah, or up to this process, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, so this I just told you that, uh, yeah, we can check the answer. If we have any doubt in our answer, then check. Okay, understood. It's, yeah, it's so note, uh, you are noting it down. I, I took a screenshot. Okay, yes. Let me then erase this one and then. <laughs> Thank you.
what is the so this one is the same question right yeah so we need to have to multiply in the yeah so this would be how much kx square minus uh, 2kx plus 6 equals to 0 so a is uh, k b is uh, minus 2k and uh, c is 6 right so d is uh, b square minus 4ac for equal roots uh, wait, uh, shouldn't we multiply kx into x and yeah, where is kx into yeah, where see, uh, in the second question, it's kx, then brackets x minus 2. So we should multiply kx into x and kx into 2, right? Yeah, so kx into 2 is minus 2 kx, right? And kx into x is kx. Right, so I just uh, simplify this. Yeah, understood. Uh, I thought it was a cube, so that's why I asked. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So if you have any doubt, right, so you can always uh, ask. Okay, now for equal roots, uh, D is zero. So which means that uh, B square, which is minus 2K square minus 4 into A, which is K and C, which is K. So this is zero, which means that 4k square minus 4k, 4 into 6, which is, uh, let me write it uh, So you see that 4k, 4k is common. So I take uh, 4k outside. So this is k minus 6 equals to 0. So this 4 goes in the right hand side and we have k into k minus 6 equals to um, yeah. shouldn't it be, um, 24 because four into six is 24. Yeah. yeah. So I just kept it like this so that I can take four key form. Right. But we can write 24 also, right? Yeah. 24 K also. We can write uh, six into four is 24. So 24 K. Right. And, uh, yeah. So you can see that four K into six. So 24 K. Right. <clears throat> Okay, so first uh, from here we put k equals to 0 and uh, k minus 6 equals to 0. So one answer is k equals to 0 and uh, k minus 6 equals to 0. k is uh, 6 is the answer. So this cannot be true, right? Because uh, k equals to 0 would give you no quadratic equation. Yeah. So you will only have k equals to 0. So, yeah. Um, can you write 24 once? Yeah. Uh, what? 24? Yeah. Okay. No, just show it with 24. Okay. 24. Right. Then you take a whole form. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Yeah, okay, I understand. Yeah, so please uh, note it down and then uh, next question. Yeah, note it. Uh, one second, just. Okay. Yeah, noted. <coughs> yeah, now let us quickly finish uh, this question and then we'll start in addition.
Okay, so in the next three question, all the answer are like this. Is it possible? Is it possible? Is it possible? So in all these three questions, they are asking about the possibility of a solution of the quadratic equation, right? So when uh, when can a quadratic equation have a solution? So that would be in two cases. When uh, they have real and unequal roots, or when they have real and equal roots, right? Yes. So in these two cases, we have a possible solution. Okay, so we have to just find out uh, for possibility of this uh, case. We just have to find out that uh, whether d is greater than zero or d is uh, equal to zero. Understood? Can you can you show one question? Yeah, yeah. So, of course, uh, one thing is that we have to get the idea of the question. So this is the idea, and then yeah. so is it possible to design a rectangular mango groove whose length is so we have a rectangular. We have a rectangular, right? Mango. So this rectangle has a fixed length, right? And then it has some breadth. Right. Yeah. So what is uh, the area? Is uh, this? This would be the area of this rectangle, right? So this is uh, the area of the rectangle. And let's say that if I assume the length to be x and uh, breadth to be y, okay? And area is uh, 800 meters square. So what would be the area? Yeah, area of uh, area of, yeah area is eight hundred and what is the area of the rectangle? Yeah, so area of the rectangle is length into breadth, right? Yeah, and into v. So length uh, we have x and uh, breadth is y, so x y. So from question, we know that area is uh, 800, which means that x, y is 800. So this is uh, the first part. OK. Now, uh, what is the second uh, condition? So the second condition is that the length is uh, twice its breadth. OK. So the second condition is Length is uh, twice its breadth. So length is how much? X. X breadth is uh, y. y. So x is into is equal to twice. So this is let's say first. And this is the second. So we just put in these variables. X into uh, what? This is into uh, two. yeah, two y into y is uh, so in place of x, I plug in the value of right, okay. yeah. So <clears throat> this is uh, two y squared is uh, 800. So this y squared is uh, 800 by two. So, is, yeah, so y would be how much? Y would be simply. The root of uh, root of four hundred, so which uh, would be twenty. So y is twenty. Right. So
Yes, uh, I got uh, disconnected. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. Yeah, so length is x equals to 2y, right? Which is uh, 2 into 20, 20, so x is 40. So what is the dimension of the rectangular group that we have? So we have the rectangular group. Okay, we have the rectangular group whose dimension is uh, or whose length is whose length is uh, 40 and uh, breadth is 20. Right, so we can uh, make this uh, rectangular group, right, because we have a solution. Understood? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so this was uh, the question. So, is, 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 yeah, this is possible. Okay, so if, whenever we have a solution, then it is possible. So, I will talk about uh, this fourth question also. And uh, so, please. Uh, can I note it? Can I note it down? Yeah, yeah, please note it down. And if you have any doubt, uh, you can. Just remember that whenever we have a solution, then whenever we have a real solution, then uh, it is possible. And when we don't have a solution, then it is not possible. But uh, for this question, it was very simpler to find uh, the solution. So, so that is why we got uh, the direct answer. In the next okay. question, yeah, in the next case question, you will see that uh, how can we interpret it. Whenever you want me to scroll down the screen, I will. Yeah, note it. Yes, note. Yeah, completed uh, for this point also. <clears throat> Okay, so whenever you have completed the uh, finish no now let us do the next question and then Okay, so this is right. Is the following situation hello. possible? If so, yes, yes. Yes, hello. Yes, I can hear you. 
Yeah. Hello. Yes, hello. Can yeah, you hear? yes, I can hear. Yeah. So I was saying that uh, is the following situation possible? If so, determine their present situation. So the sum of ages of two friends is uh, 20 years. <coughs> right. So we have uh, two friends, right? Let's say one friend is uh, X and uh, other friend uh, age is, uh, let's say, Y. Right. So the sum of uh, the ages of the friend. So first, uh, first information is what sum? What would be the sum? Um, the sum, yeah. it's X plus Y. Yeah, X plus Y, and it is given it's that... It's equal to 20. 20, yes, absolutely. So this is the first information. So we can calculate the value of Y from here. So value of Y is how much? 20 minus 10. Okay, so this is the first uh, thing that... We now, four years ago, so let us uh, calculate the values four years ago. So, four years ago, what was the uh, first friend? <clears throat> four years ago, uh, first friend would be x, x, uh, x minus four. X minus four, and the other friend would be how? Uh, y minus four. Y minus four. And what is the relation? Product of their ages. So, what is the product? Uh, the yeah. What is the product? Product um uh, product is plus one eight. Yeah. So x minus four and uh, y minus four. Right. This is the product. And uh, this is how much? Forty eight. Right. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah, let me increase this one and uh, yeah. So now we know the value of y. Value of y is how much? This is uh, uh, 20, 20 minus x. And minus of 4, mm -hmm. which is 40. This is <coughs> x minus 4. 20 minus 4 is 16 minus 3. So this is uh, 40. So we'll have 16x minus x square minus 64 plus 4x. This is uh, 48. So 16x plus 4x. So this is uh, 20x. Minus x square minus 64 is 40. So we take all these terms in the right hand side. Okay. And uh, what we will get? So we will get we will get x square minus 20x plus 64 and plus 1. So we will get what? x square minus 20x plus 2. So this is uh, the answer that we get. Okay. Yeah, so this is the quadratic equation that we get. Understood? Yes, uh, Rifa, understood. Hello. Uh, <coughs> Hello. Yeah, 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 understood. Yes, yes, understood. Should we do middle term splitting? Uh, no, so we have to check uh, whether the solution exists or not. So we do we know this came in aunt uh, method, right? So first, okay, uh, okay. first, yeah, first we have to check if the solution exists or not. So for to do that, we know A is one, B is uh, minus 20, C is one, one, seven. So D would be how much? D would be, Square minus two so b is minus two square minus two. So this is a four hundred minus uh, 
Yes, sir. Uh, if I can hear. Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Can you hear me, Deepa? Hello, uh, can you uh, mute yourself and uh, hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, if I can hear me, so you have to reply, right? You can write uh, in the chat box uh, also if you have. Uh, yeah, so yes, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you saw that uh, we have D less than C, right? Oh, actually, uh, yeah, these so calls will be coming up, so that's why I was. Yeah, uh, what did you say? Yeah, <coughs> what did you say? <coughs> Uh, no, uh, I had this incoming calls coming, so that's why your voice was breaking oh. and you couldn't hear my voice. Oh, okay. No, yeah. So I'm saying that uh, we found out that D is less than C. So for these kind of situations... So it means it has uh, no real yeah, use. So the solution will not exist, So which means that it is not uh, possible. Right? So the answer would be it is uh, not uh, possible. Because uh, we don't have so this would be the answer. Understood? Yeah. So please uh, look down, down, down. Yeah. Please uh, look down. Yes. And uh, how, how much time we have? Five minutes. Yeah, and today would uh, there will be no uh, class assessment because we are on the same topic, right? So in the previous class, uh, you had the nature of groups, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We are on the same topic, so there um, no... I I already noted this down. Okay, you already noted. Yeah. So the fifth question is uh, the same, right? And. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so before I explain this uh, fifth question, let me give you some. Let me give you some. Yeah, so these are the questions. Uh, 17 and uh, finally, so which is 20 and uh, 22 and 24 questions. Okay.
Yeah. So um, the twentieth question, uh, we have to, uh, like find the value itself. No, no. We have to just uh, show these uh, this relation. We have to show show this uh, relation, right? We only know that uh, it has points, right? And A is how much? A is uh, one plus. M square, B is uh, 2MC, right? And uh, C is uh, 3 square minus C square. So this is the. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So we have to show that C square equal to A square has equal roots. Yeah, so we have to show that uh, B square minus C is equals to 0. So if we follow this, then we would find out that c square is c square one plus x. This is a nothing. Understood? Okay. Um, let's take a screenshot. Yeah. So I have I have uh, I have wrote in the it in the capital letter so that uh, it is not uh, uh, confusing with the small a. Right. This uh, these small a and c are different. Right. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, look at screen. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, did you take a screenshot of these questions? Um. Yes. Oh. Uh, uh, yes. This question we have what? We have uh, again design a rectangular part. So again a rectangular <coughs> part and uh, area is uh, area is uh, how much? 400. The area of this is the rectangular part is uh, 400. This square. And let's say that its uh, length is x, its uh, breadth is y. So, what is the perimeter? Yeah, perimeter is how much? 2 into l plus v. Yeah, so 2 into x plus 1. Okay. And uh, from question, it is given that uh, perimeter is uh, perimeter is how much? 80 meter. So 2 into x plus y is uh, 80. So x plus y is uh, 40 and uh, x or y is uh, 40 minus 1. This is uh, the first information. And uh, second information is how much? Area is uh, area is how much 400 meters square so area is x into y which is 400 so x into 40 minus x is uh, so we have 40 x minus x square is 400 and we take uh, this in the other side so this becomes x square minus 40 x plus 400 equals to so this is my quadratic equation, okay? And uh, yeah, so you check whether uh, whether we have a real or unreal. So if we have real loops, uh, then uh, yeah, understood? <clears throat> yes, understood. Yeah, so you solve it uh, for... Okay. Stop at here, and uh, in the next class, I will explain the uh, computation. Okay, so you check whether d square is greater than zero or d is greater than zero equal to zero or less. So if this is the case, this is the case, then we have uh, possibilities. 
and if this is the case, then not possible. Okay, noted uh, up to this point. Um, can I can I do it now? Oh, you uh, want to do it now? How much time? Uh, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, please uh, do it now. Uh, yeah, please do it now. I have another class. Which I have to... Please uh, not get down. Um... Find uh, whether this question is. We have a equals to one, b equals to minus one, d equals to zero. Uh, yeah, there is a possibility because I got the answer yeah. one thousand six hundred minus one thousand six hundred, so that is equal to zero. Yeah. So d is equals to zero, which means that we have a real and uh, equal roots right that's real root. yeah so then uh, you got it yeah so the roots would be how much this would be minus alpha uh, a plus minus minus b plus minus two d by two so b is uh, uh. minus 40 so minus of uh, minus 40 plus minus zero by two eight two one so 40 by 2, which is 20. So alpha is 20 and beta is 20, right? We have two equal groups. Okay, so this is the length and the breadth. Understood? Yes. yes. yes.